Earlier this week, a homeless camp was cleaned out in the Midway District only to essentially return the next day. Well, today the city of San Diego returned again and cleaned up further. It was one of the city's largest homeless camps and it's along Sports Arena Boulevard. Fox 5's Kelsey Christensen is there live for us with a look at today's effort and what comes next. Kelsey. Hey, yeah, lots of trash picked up both today and Tuesday, actually weighing more than an elephant, and there's still a lot of trash left. Thursday was the city's second cleanup at one of San Diego's largest homeless camps along Sports Arena Boulevard between Pacific Highway and Rosecrans. <laughs> City workers had campers move to the other side of the street while they picked up 6.9 tons of trash and debris. And there's still more left. Why would they leave like 30 to 45 uh, bottles of urine? Andrew H is helping clean up where he lives in the camp. He pitched a tent out here after falling on hard times, losing his job in the music industry. It's, it's a temporary situation for me, so might as well make the best of it. And... While some homeless advocates help people get out of this camp, the city told us only seven people out of about 180 living in the camp accepted help from the city, going to city shelters. Queen size mattress in here, it's not too bad. Andrew says it's not that simple to just pack up and leave. Going to a shelter means leaving many belongings behind that could get stolen, along with limited space in the shelters. It's more of a, an availability of housing than it is a refusal of housing. They would like all the other alternatives, but for now, this, you know, this safety and numbers kind of thing uh, seem to have been working. Mayor Todd Gloria says the city has increased temporary housing projects, but admits the pandemic is making it a real challenge. Both case rates and staffing issues causing limited intake at shelters. We need folks to get vaccinated, right? We need folks, uh, we need to be able to have full access to all of our shelters. We can't have them uh, intake shut down because of an outbreak. We got to be able to have workers who can come and help staff these facilities. He says to fully clear out the camp, it'll take continued outreach and cleanups, since another challenge is getting people to accept help. But the conditions out there are completely unacceptable, and I will not be content with leaving them in that way, but we're going to have to be persistent. This is not one and done. Um, this is about an ongoing effort to make sure that the situation there improves and ultimately um, is uh, uh, is no longer. And there's no exact dollar amount for how much these cleanups cost. That's because it's all factored within the yearly city budget. Live from the Midway District, Kelsey Christensen, Fox 5 News.